When the campfire hit, I could not believe how far and how fast the fire had moved. That all of a sudden the whole town was engulfed in flames. Got in the truck and drove up around the corner. That's when I realized the whole town was being evacuated. And I could see in my rear view mirror this massive wall of deep, deep black, just fast, rapidly moving towards my vehicle and just praying that traffic would get moving, we get out. It is the deadliest wildfire in California's history. It's one of those events I hope I never have to go through again. We ended up staying at our daughter's house for 14 months. I remember one night after the fire, we were out of creamer for coffee, and someone said, Larry, why don't you go to the store and, and get creamer? And what went through my mind was, with what? You know, everything's gone. I don't even have socks. And I got out of the car, and as I took a step towards the front door of the market, I looked down and saw a coin on the ground. So I took a few more steps, and I think I found a nickel. And I see a piece of paper skitter by, and I stomped on it. And when I picked my foot up, I picked up a $20 bill and looked at it, and it said, yeah, in God we trust. Okay, I get it, I get it. Help me to never again doubt your provision. You've got this. Hebrews 13, 5 says, never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. When we rebuilt this place, it was not near the emotional attachment because we had a very real, surreal lesson in life. This really is all temporary. So stop and think what really matters. Do you want to spend more time on the job? Or would you rather spend more time with your family, your kids, your grandkids? Because what lasts forever is those things that are eternal, and what lasts for this earth is memories. Uh, and are you making memories with those you love? Are you establishing relationships that will not pass away when this earth does?